Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMoe with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is August 29th, 2016. I want to talk to you today about the prophecy that Jesus gave to us about the third temple and also about the restarting of the sacrifices in the last days. And of course, we know when that happens, Antichrist will be here. And if you know that the Antichrist is going to be here during these events, you should be preparing immediately because that means that Christ will be coming for his church and that is our blessed hope it always has been let me bring you some of these prophecies right here where you see Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 because it's talking about the Antichrist and it says this and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and that would be in reference to the Antichrist who's going to confirm it doesn't say he's going to make it it just he confirms this agreement this covenant with many for one week and of course the many probably has to do with the Islamic people that hate or the Islamic nations that hate Israel and in the midst of the week in other words in the middle of this time period in which we know from the study is a period of seven years so in the middle of it would be exactly three and a half years or 1260 days you can get all this information by the way by reading the book of Daniel it's all in there so it says, in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. So the Antichrist, in the exact middle, 1,260 days, is going to stop the sacrifices that the Jews start up again. So that this is really easy to understand. And for the overspreading abomination, he shall make it desolate, even to the consummation, and that determined shall be poured out upon the desolate now Jesus talks about primarily the same thing in Matthew chapter 24 verse 15 look at this when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place whosoever readeth let him understand so he mentions the holy place and he mentions the abomination of desolation this is exactly the event that Daniel is referring to in Daniel chapter 9 where this Antichrist is going to stop those sacrifices now we know exactly who he's talking about Paul even mentions it take a look at 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 4 who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called God and again he's talking about the Antichrist in this abomination of desolation okay or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God so we know where he's going he's going into the temple of God where is it in Jerusalem it hasn't been built yet but Jesus and Daniel shows us that it is going to be built and this Antichrist who's going to appear like he's some great leader is going to turn out to be anything but that he's going to be the incarnation of Satan himself and he's trying to show the world or force the world into accepting him and the, the way he does this is by forcing the mark his mark as we read in the book of Revelation chapter 13 and of course we know that that mark will be placed in the right hand or in the forehead so I found this article that came out August the 29th 2016 very very interesting because little by little we have been watching the preparations for the third temple and to reinstitute the sacrifices now in many places on my website I've been showing the people who have been coming to my website how the Jews are preparing to fulfill this prophecy now one of the ways that they have started to prepare is well first of all they have recreated everything that was used in the old services at the time like Jesus was alive they've recreated everything and they've brought back the priest the Levite priest that are going to be doing this sacrifices again and they are training them right now and do the same things that they did at the time that Jesus was alive 
They've even practiced sacrificing these animals in the last three years. So they're getting ready to fulfill the very words that Jesus spoke to us and pointed to in the book of Daniel. So now that you have everything organized, a few years back, even the Sanhedrin came back. And if you remember reading the Bible, you'll know that the Sanhedrin took Jesus, they got him to stand in front of this body, the Sanhedrin, when they were trying him. Of course, we know that he was innocent, but that was all part of the prophecy. So the Sanhedrin is also back. And just recently now, as you can see from this breaking Israel news that came out August the 29th of 2016, they've even now, for the first time, almost 2,000 years, appoint a high priest. And you'll see that in the headline of this article, Temple Service Could Be One Week Away as Sanhedrin Points High Priest. And this is what the article says. A significant step was recently taken towards reinstating the temple service when the nascent Sanhedrin selected Rabbi Bar Kahin as the next Kohen Gadol high priest. The selection was made as a precaution for Yom Kippur. If the political conditions should change, allowing the Jews access to the Temple Mount, they would be required by Torah law to bring the sacrifices. Rabbi Kahin is confident that if that should happen, temple service should begin in less than one week. And further down in the article that I paste for you, it says, We do not need a miraculous occurrence like the sudden appearance of a temple descending from heaven onto the Temple Mount to make this decision relevant, explained Rabbi Weiss. The only obstacle preventing the temple service today is the political issue. If that should suddenly change, as it very well could, we could be required to begin the temple service immediately. It is therefore necessary that we have a candidate prepared to fill the role of the high priest, especially now that we have Kohim prepared to serve in the temple. And the lower left-hand side of the page, you'll see a picture of some of the Kohen that are carrying the lamb for these sacrifices as they're continuing to practice the same kind of rituals that they did during the time that Jesus was here. So step by step, they're bringing back everything that was used in the temple services, including the high priest. Now, no one can say for sure what is going to happen, whether it'll be a political issue or whether it'll be a war that allows them to go up to have full access at the Temple Mount. That's what we're waiting to see. But one thing we do know, it will happen eventually. The Temple will be rebuilt, sacrifices will begin, and of course you'll have the High Priest in control what happens on the Temple Mount. Now, if you think that bringing about a high priest is a good thing for Israel and the Jews, you would be mistaken. Because everything that they're doing, including the rebuilding of this third temple soon, starting the sacrifices, bringing back all of the instruments for these sacrifices, it's all for nothing. Because we know for sure that our sin, our atonement for sin, was taken care of by Jesus Christ. And as far as a high priest goes, look at what Hebrews 7.27 says, who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once when he suffered up himself. And of course, Paul was talking about Jesus Christ who offered himself as their sacrifice of our sins. And so there's no need for any of the instruments, no need to sacrifice any more animals, because Jesus did it on the cross. And anything other than that is not coming from God. And of course, the Jewish people will find that out during the tribulation period when they realize that Jesus Christ was in fact the true Messiah. And the words that Jesus has given to us about these temples and about the sacrifices and the Antichrist, please take to heart. 
because we're running out of time before we see the fruition of all the rest of these prophecies. Please accept Jesus today. His atonement for you was so many years ago, but it is still good while you're breathing. Tomorrow, you may not be, and it may be too late for you.